All right, so the next question is, what do data scientists really do? So as I mentioned before, what a data scientist actually do is to try to infer or gain valuable insights from the data. And in order for data scientists to do that, they need to leverage many, many skills and wear many, many hats as well. So they need to have knowledge of mathematics. They need to know statistics. They need to have some domain knowledge as well. They need to have some computer science skills too. And here is a quote by Shlomo uh, Aragmon. I hope I'm pronouncing uh, his name right. So the data scientist equals two. You need to have a statistics background. So you need to be a statistician. You need to be a programmer. You need to be a coach, storyteller, and an artist as well. So let me walk you guys through a couple of key activities that any data scientist do. The first one is, well, they need to ask the right questions. So data scientists ask questions to understand the business problem at hand. Once they understand the problem or maybe have basic foundation about the problem, well, they need to go ahead and collect the data or maybe access specific data sets to solve their business problem. So they need to collect data sets to solve a specific problem. The third step is, well, once they have access to the data, most of the time data in the field is messy. It comes from different formats, different sources, different databases. And that's why data scientists need to spend a lot of time to perform data wrangling. They need to clean up the data, merge the data, kind of to make them usable and presentable as well. Once they do that, then they need to go ahead and visualize that data and perhaps build dashboards as well. And please note that we're going to learn many, many of these skills throughout our course today. Afterwards, the data scientists, they need to come up with KPIs or key performance indicators and some sort of pass fail criteria as well. And then they need to choose the right algorithm and model to solve a given problem. So they might you choose, for example, uh, decision trees, random forest, XGBoost algorithms. These are simply machine learning algorithms that can make specific decision, either can perform regression, classification, or clustering. And then once they choose the algorithm of choice, then they can go ahead and train machine learning models. And once they train these models, they can go ahead and evaluate results and generate reports. And then once they do that, now comes the storytelling piece. Now they need to present results to shareholders, tell a given story, and make specific recommendations based on that data. And these are essentially the key, I would say, nine activities that any data scientist do. And that's it. That's all I have for this lesson. In the next lesson, I'm going to walk you guys through what do recruiters look for in any data scientist application or applicant. Please stay tuned. Best of luck. And I'll see you guys in the next lesson.